All right, so we're gonna set up a stage display. I'll try to make this simple. And it's just like setting up an external monitor. External monitor with limited functions. Basically, it only can send text and colored text uh, very limitedly. But uh, we're gonna to go to uh, preferences um, and per presenter. You should know how to get there by now. Uh, in preferences and we're gonna first we're gonna check to make sure we have uh, we're gonna enable the stage display and you're gonna have to mess with your uh, output screen settings and mirroring options under um, uh, under system display settings and it's gonna be different than this machine because we have this machine set up as a downstream key for uh, the switcher but you, you're gonna make sure mirroring displays is turned off and you're gonna have to mess around trying to get your your screens make sure your screens are going to the uh, the right uh, location so uh, but once you do have your screen set up you're gonna make sure the stage display is enabled we're gonna click on configure stage display and then we're going to create a new uh, stage display configuration and we click on new stage display configuration right now it's reading as default one um, we are going to name this uh, I already have one name worship I'm gonna name this one worship I'm gonna name this one worship one just for demonstration purposes. Uh, hit return, and then we're going to deactivate some of these things. This is everything that's gonna be on your stage display, and here is a copy of our stage display that is just um, mirroring, I'm sorry, our confidence monitor, that is mirroring our confidence monitor. It's a small monitor on our desk, and it just shows us what's on the on the confidence monitor. I keep saying stage display because that's what ProPresenter is calling a stage display, but we call it a confidence monitor. We're gonna turn a few things off, and we're gonna turn off Current slide notes, we're gonna turn off next slide notes, we're gonna turn off chorus chart, uh, we're gonna turn off clock, we're gonna turn off video countdown, we're gonna turn off showing borders, we're gonna turn off messages, and we're gonna turn off use flash color. On top of that, we're going to make the uh, current slide, we're gonna make it uh, red. Make it red, and then we're gonna to go to the next slide, right here, we're gonna go to next slide, and we're gonna make that one uh, orange. So current slide is red, next slide is orange, and it looks kind of funky. It looks like that, and now it looks like that on the screen. But we're gonna clean that up just, uh, just a little bit. So once we're kind of done uh, deselecting all these options, we can change the font size here. Right now it's on 60 here at uh, Powhatan. Uh, we have it at uh, 80, that seems to work for us. You may have to adjust it depending on how your resolutions are set. Will vary some. Now that I'm done setting that up, I can just click over here in the box. I want current slide to be on top and I want next slide to be on bottom. Make sure that you have this uh, set up right. You realize this box is like over this box. So if you have a box set up, you're messing with this later on, you can easily make a box disappear by accidentally uh, covering it. So make sure you're not accidentally covering a box. And we're gonna, we're gonna make it like basically 50-50 split of the screen. Come on. This will not, um, uh, this doesn't translate everything on the, the templates on the screens as though it might be showing on your, uh, your big screen. But now we have current slide on top, next slide on bottom. We use red and orange because it's not as bright in the room. Those TVs, if you use white um, on the lettering, it, those TVs will actually light up the room. So, sorry, let me adjust my hand on the camera. Um, so we use uh, red and orange, it's not so bright. So here we have current slide on top, next slide on bottom. If we go over here and look at the uh, confidence monitor, uh, it'll show current slide, next slide. This is orange. It's just um, my phone not translating the color. And you can see that our uh, text boxes are not there. Over here you can see, you can see our headers or text box uh, titles, next slide, uh, current slide. They're on this one over here in our setup, but they are not over here. That's, that's what we want. All right, so now that we're done setting this up, you can just X out of it. And now it's X out and we have uh, stage display enabled and we've configured it, we're done with this. Yep, delete that. All right, now we're gonna go to a song. My coloring box is still open. Uh, there we go. We're gonna go to a song. We're gonna go to the top of the song, first slide. I'm gonna remove, um, I'm gonna remove uh, a cue here. So here's our first slide where we have a K and we have a clear all. And now we're gonna tell that this, this is a song, this song is a presentation, it's a presentation song worthy of your name. And we're gonna tell this presentation what we want this screen to look like over here. So on this first slide, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to 
add queue. Yep, add queue. And I'm gonna go stage display layout and we're gonna click on, um, if I can do it, worship one, the one we just created. And now when I click on this first slide, it's gonna change the uh, confidence monitor or the stage display confidence monitor to do current slide, next slide, the way we have it set up. So right now our current slide is a blank slide. So there is nothing on the top. And we click on this slide here. We now have a current slide and a next slide. And as we, um, as we move forward in the song, they will scroll by. Now this, uh, this will get the band in a little bit of trouble. Let's say you go through the verse and then you go through the chorus and you do verse two and you go back to the chorus and then it's time to go to the bridge. So you're going to back to the chorus the second time. And after this chorus, you're gonna to go to the bridge. So you're scrolling through the chorus the second time and you're seeing current slide, next slide, current slide, next slide. And then on the very last slide in the chorus is Jesus, which we have up here. And then the very next slide is verse two, which we have down here. But the song is actually going to go to the bridge, which is here. So the confidence monitor or stage display, however you want to call it, can get the band in a little bit of trouble if, they, if they're not sure where they're going. Fortunately, in Ableton, they have those cues that tells them bridge, verse, and all these other things too. But on the screen, they will see at times the wrong next slide. The current slide should always be correct, but the next slide is not always correct. Again, they might be going through the bridge too, and they could get to the end of the bridge and they could actually, I'm not sure for this song, for worthy of your name, they might get to the end of the bridge and then going back to chorus one as opposed to going to chorus two. So again, here at the end of the bridge, this next slide may not be correct depending on the song. Um, that's where uh, things can get a little bit tricky. Here at, uh, at Powhatan we have, um, it's, it definitely seems worth the risk and it, has, it does pay off, it does really, really help. So uh, that's just a little bit of a, uh, a caution. Uh, that's just to warn you where it might throw people off just a little bit. Um, so yeah, we have this monitor up here that just helps us see what's going on on the confidence monitor or stage display. Uh, I'm not sure you're gonna have that, but it does, it does help. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks for checking it out. Talk to you later, bye.